So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes? It is Kiba Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy. Last time, we made way through the sunken shrine and found the Fiend of Water, the Kraken. This time, after doing a little bit of adjusting and grinding off screen and fixing and everything, uh, this is what our money's looking like, this is what our stats are looking like, everybody's level 24, which is pretty good. Um, as for magic, one handed got flow, heal three off screen. Uh, Dewo also has blind, or something like that, I don't remember what the translation was. As for weapons, ice sword, light um, axe, silver hammer, and the cat claw as per usual. Armor is the opal, opal um, shield, body armor, and helm with the protector ring, buckler pro ring, and gold bracelet. The ribbon, opal bracelet, and the pro ring, and then the cap, gold bracelet, and um, pro ring. So there we go. Flo is also holding the um, Zeus gauntlet for extra damage. This is what our stats are looking like for everybody. Uh, pause it just so you guys can get a decent look at them. I'm gonna do Zeus uh, Zest once more time. And there we go. Uh, I wanted to start a rerun through and get to this part with everyone's health up. And yeah. So without further ado, let us talk with the Kraken. The Fiend's Ball. <clears throat> the Fiend's Ball shattered. Evaporating all the water. Ho ho ho. How foolhardy to dare challenge me. Crack it. The fiend of water. And we have the boss battle commence. Now, of course, you have your traditional fight as per usual. Uh, just set up what you need to set up and everything. Um, your best bet is really just like usual to set up a fast as quickly as possible. I'm um, gonna have. Uh, flow, do fog two on everybody, and then have Zess or Dewo do which one would be best? Do um, I guess fast on Sauber really. There you go. So now Zess is a lot faster, does more attacks, which is pretty useful. Kraken's gonna attack, and I was unlucky. Yeah, that's the thing with Dewo or with. The Kraken, he strikes pretty hard, pretty fast, which is unfortunate for me, of course, because why not? But yeah, if you're severely unlucky, he can take out a mage pretty quickly, and I was unfortunately very unlucky, but it wouldn't be a boss fight if one of my mages didn't go down, specifically Dewo, because the game just doesn't like him. Ah, <sighs> but with what I could do, I got uh, Fog 2 up, have um, just Sauber and Zest Swing. Um, use another fast on yourself, Sauber, and then have, um, what to do? I don't really know. I guess have just flow use the Zeus Gauntlet and start doing some damage. <sighs> do what you can, 75 damage. I'm probably gonna cut, like, at the end of this fight and redo it just so that way I can have, um, Dewo in the fight and gain experience because gosh, I have to climb all the way back here. Now, this, um, as we're going over um, Kraken's attacks, Ink, it does that one fourth of the time, it will inflict darkness. Um, so be forewarned about that. As far as attacks, he's primarily offensive, so he will just continuously pelt you and he'll do loads of damage. Lit 3 is very effective, as well as the Zeus Gauntlet. Um, and then the Kraken does not resist slow or slow too, so if you can hit it with it, go for it. It probably might not stick for long, but it is very wise of you to at least try. There you go, have you two swing, and then have, um, a flow use lamp on Zest to try and at least do some more damage. And get rid of the dark so it doesn't miss as often. There we go, critical for 188, pretty good damage. Uh... Sauber swinging, 2 damage for 156 with a critical, which is nice. And boom, Kraken went down. God, why did they will get so unlucky? It happens every single time. That's a lot of experience, but that's not going to be the same. Boom, just like that. Welcome forward. We head north. And there we go. We head on out, and we check our party. We have awakened the orb of water. I'll meet you guys back here on this screen, hopefully with Dewo alive. Jeez. 
Alright, we're back. Boom. This is what everyone's experience is looking like. I managed to beat the Kraken without losing Dewo this time, or anyone for that matter. I got lucky. I lucked out. But boom. There we go. We have restored the Orb of Water. And now, we must uh, find our way to restore the final Orb. Not much else for us available here in Ornak, except for a few spells, but that'll be for another time. For now, I say, with that slab in tow, we pay a visit to Dr. Oon back in Melman, because he does have some useful information for us now that we have the slab, since he can translate uh, Le Finish, or Le Finish, whatever, or however it's pronounced. Ugh! We can continue. Boom. Go. Ugh. I kinda, I really lucked out seriously in that fight. I got super lucky with my second attempt. Ah, but there ain't much else to say about it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just run, please, because nobody wants to fight anybody. And um, everyone is already 24. Literally, one more level, and we'll gain access to level eight spells, which, if you can guess, probably is quite costly, and it'll be a while until we gain access to all of them. But we'll get there soon enough. You guys will see what kind of equips I set for everyone, but for now we look to the world map and we must travel to the south to get to Momen, so let's not waste any time. Let's just get a move on. Uh, boom, we see the land. Head over here. Bam. We arrive. Let's go pay it to, pay a visit to Dr. Doon, see what he's got to say now that we have this slab with us. Should be just right up here. You, sir. The Titan who lit. No, wrong person. You, sir. Oh, you're trapped now. Thanks a lot. A slab. This slab would lead us to solve the riddle of the Lefinish. Now listen to me. Warriors, revive the power of the orbs. Well, with that, now we can communicate. Ah, damn it. We can communicate just what the slab says. I don't know if it makes a difference as to what it reads. Let me see. No, it's just out of our party entirely. Alright. Now, in order for us to reach Leafine, we must return back north and attack a seemingly endless um... a seemingly endless forest. Hop on. Check the world map as per usual. Let's see where shall we be heading. Yeah, we have to head to the land of the far north, which I'm trying to remember which one it is exactly. Um, south end of the list, the eastern part of the northeast continent. All right, yeah. So now, if you follow my directions, you follow me, please. We head over here. We pass over the cave of uh, whatever it was called. I don't remember, and I really don't care in the desert very much but over here this is where we would need to land however we can't since there isn't enough space for us there's really much else that we can do since well yeah it's kind of a closed off port all we can really do is park as far away as we can and find our way there ourselves damn where do we land Seemingly endless forest. Is there even an open portion for me to land on? Right here? Yeah, of course. Alright, well, yeah, we have a long ways to trek, and we have, of course, some powerful enemies, so be ready for them, be forewarned about them. Just hopefully we can flee and not take too much damage. Um, monsters aren't that difficult, though, can be quite a pain. We have ourselves some zombies and trolls. Oh, damn, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, let's just run, please, because I don't really want to fight. Yes, yeah, excuse me. Okay, Zest and Sabra can't run, which means Flo and Day will probably can't. <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate. Um, just keep on going. I just have to beat him up real quick, so let's just do that. we 
go, took them down, have nothing else to worry about. Now, going over the enemies, there are quite a handful of them. You got some giants, you got some zombies and trolls as you saw there. You got some frost wolves, of course. But the most dangerous ones you can run into are Tyros, which I'll go over briefly in a second. There we go. Boom. But yeah, Tyros. They have loads of health and they are quite powerful. Uh, but they shouldn't be too much to worry about as long as you follow the quick path and we find ourselves in Leafinish. Or Leafine. We are the Leafinish. Only our bravest became the Sky Warriors. Your airship was theirs. Ah, do we see just where the airship had come from? See, we have a whole new area to literally check out. Like, geez. The floating castle. Our ancestors lived there. The Mirage Tower is the entrance. So we get an idea of just what the Mirage Tower is. Our last five warriors left to find the cause of the world's decay. We know that they live, but as bats. Interesting. We fought with Tiamat, but were unsuccessful. The Fiend now inhabits the floating castle. So Tiamat, the Fiend of the Wind. The power of wind was taken by Tiamat. So you can already hear the name of our final Fiend. With this chime, you can enter the Mirage Tower. So we figured out a way in order to enter, to gain access. We knew that a great power controlled the Fiends. Our five bravest warriors left, never to return. So they've been taken, or at least they're gone, which is kind of unfortunate. Doesn't seem like there's much else. Talk right here. 400 years ago, we had an advanced civilization. Our ancestors was the universe. Thank you for letting me by. Until 400 years ago, we controlled the power of the wind. This enabled us to suspend the castle in the air. So that explains the floating castle. The floating castle floats high in the sky, seemingly among the stars. We have passed on the legends from generation to generation, for 400 years have caused our memories to fade, since the castle no longer floats. I wonder if the robots made by our ancestors are still moving. Hmm, that's quite interesting to be told. But now with the chime, we can gain, ac we can gain access to the... Um, Brain fire. We can gain access to the Mirage Tower. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll don't leave just yet because two hidden magic shops selling the best spells in the game. Mm, okay. So, we see that there really ain't much else, and that was pretty much it. Let's talk with these two. Oh, the Light Warriors. The legend is true. As the time of destruction, a legend was born. 400 years, warriors with orbs will appear to save our people. Are you why we certainly are? Um. Now, with that, there really ain't much else for us. However, there is hidden magic shops available. The northeast corner of the town. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much well all that's available. However, if we follow this little path and we head to the northeast area, um, continue east. So just keep on moving east, and we see we have some more trees where we gain access to hidden shops. We talk with Flo, and we have Life 2, the best magic spell, and the only level 8 spell, or one of the only level 8 spells in the game. And you're definitely going to want to grab this because it will restore a KO warrior to full health. So yeah, it doesn't function during combat unfortunately, but... Um, we basically can restore any hero back to full with just life 2, which is very nice. We head into the um, Black Magic store with Dewo. We get ourselves Nuke, which is a non elemental spell of power. It's basically the best KO spell you can get ever. Your best bet is really to use it with large groups, don't use it on one. That's really all I can tell you about that. And there really ain't much else for us here. You do gotta do some grinding in order to get those, but it'll take some time. 
for now, head over here and we just wrapped around and left. As you can probably guess, I got loads of grinding to do, I gotta get those level 8 slots open, I gotta get those last of the level 7 magics, but, uh, um, let's see, oh yeah, there really ain't much else for us to do. Um, we hear that we can gain access to the Mirage Tower, however, there's still one more little area we gotta check out, and uh, that area is we need to collect ourselves a cube in order to gain access to the floating castle. So before we do that, um, that'll pretty much leave this part here. Hope you guys do enjoy. Um, if you guys did, please show me some love and support please, by hitting that like button. Comment down below what y'all enjoyed them a lot to see. I will see you guys back over by OnRack. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, that's it. And I will most definitely be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.